When you're in your Tinkercad space, you first want to go down here to Edit Grid. And if it is on millimeters, you want to change your units to inches and update your grid. That way you can tell how big or small your object is. Then you want to pay attention to these tabs over here on the side. Here are some of your geometric shapes, and here are some of the letters that you will also um, find useful to use. What you want to do first is drag over the letters that you're going to use. I'm just going to drag over A, B, C. You want to make sure they're spaced out and in line in the right spot. That's why it's kind of nice to have this grid here. Once you have your letters dragged over, select them all, and up here, hit group. This will now mean that you can move your letters around, they'll all be together, you can make them longer, you can make them wider, so it's nice to have your letters grouped. So you can move these down here because those are grouped. If you ever want to change anything, you can just hit ungroup, and you can move something if you need to or delete something. I'm going to group these back up. The next thing you want to do is go up here to this tab and drag over a shape that will be the base of your keychain. I'm going to drag over a cylinder. This top cue will allow me to make it shorter. This white cube on the side, I can make it wider. And I'm going to make it about, so right now it's three and a fourth inches long, one inch wide, and the height is a fourth. That's pretty perfect for what we want. So this is good for my shape. And again, don't forget these tools over here to kind of look at your keychain in a different way to make the height bigger and to drag over your letters like that. So there you have your letters, which are now raised above your actual keychain. I can lower it like that and kind of take a look at it in a different way. And if you want to ever see your end result, you can highlight everything here, click group, and it would show you how your, how your final product would look. And again, it depends on the color of the filament of what color it would actually turn out for your actual 3D printed object. Now let's say I don't want my letters raised. So I'm going to ungroup this. Maybe I want my letters to be kind of hollow. I can go over here and click hide. Notice how my letters are now hollow. So I'm going to select all of this and see what this would look like. I'm going to hit group. This is how my keychain would look where my letters are a little bit dipped in. Okay, you can also I'm going to select them all. I'm going to ungroup. You can also make your letters hollow out all the way through. I'm going to take this cone, drag it down, change my view. So it seems like this is going all the way through here to the bottom. Um, if I select it all and hit group, I'm going to see how it would print. And it would print like this where you could actually see all the way through. That's an option for your letters too. So they could be raised. You could have them hollowed in a little bit or hollowed all the way, hollowed all the way through. Now the next part you want to think about is your actual hole for your keychain. Um, you can, let me ungroup this, you can drag over a cylinder or a box and hide this, just how we did the other letters. So again, you could bring this down, move it up if you want to, and this could be where you put your keychain. That could be an option, or you could drag over a box, that'd be fine too. Um, there's even some shapes down here, like if you wanted to drag over a star, you could drag that over and hollow it out. That could be where you put your actual keychain. Another option, as you see on the side here, you have these little rings that you can drag over as well. So if I drag this over, I can make it smaller. I definitely want to make sure it's connected to my other shape. I definitely want to make sure I have a hole to put my keychain. Okay, and right now I might be thinking, how would this actually look? Again, select everything and hit group up here. And it would show you this is how your keychain would look. Some other tools that might be useful. There is an undo button. 
if you ever put anything in there and you don't want it like that anymore, you can quickly undo it. There's also edit, copy, and edit, paste. So say you have, um, you know, like this ring, maybe you want to put it on the other side, or you want to copy ABC again, you can take that, do edit, copy, and edit, paste, and you would get another ring the exact same way.